Uh, with this, we'll start with what support is all about in ART. We know in the implantation process, in order to achieve a pregnancy, there's a delicate communication between the blastocyst and the endometrium. There is a specific period which is called the window of implantation and this happens in the luteal phase and it is controlled both by estrogen and progesterone. When you look at the normal luteal phase which follows ovulation, in a natural cycle, it's the corpus luteum that produces the estrogen and progesterone. We all know this. This lasts for a period, it peaks around four days after ovulation and continues for a week or so. And following this, it drops for several days before the next period does arrive. If pregnancy does occur, then HCG from the conceptus rescues the corpus luteum. We all know this even as undergrads. And of course, the luteal placental shift happens around the seventh week. This is also something we always knew. Let's look at what LH has to do in the luteal phase. We know that for the support of the corpus luteum, there should be a consistent LH stimulus. That is important. This consistent LH stimulus is the one that supports and maintains the normal steroidogenic activity of the corpus luteum. This we know, but probably in our subconscious minds. When you look at the progesterone levels and the estrogen levels in the luteal phase, progesterone is about 40 times more than the estrogen. Then let's understand what is it that this progesterone really does. It induces transformation of the uterine glands, we know this. It